confidence is with faith and you can't do anything to get it, charisma is an anointing and it's actually a gift, then how do you get confident and charismatic? Bioenergetics has something to do with it. Bioenergetics looks like a doing, but something has to get out of the way for you to be able to breathe in a relaxed way. All these things are means by which we break up tension. Tension is a doing. Tension is a chronic doing. If you have muscles, you're holding tension. And your tension determines your posture. And your posture determines your form. And your form determines your function. So most of us are walking around with no confidence and no charisma because we're tense. If tension is a doing, then things, activities that breaks up tension releases charisma and allows you to walk in confidence. I know that when I'm tense, mainly right here, I'm gonna talk with a more high-pitched voice. I'm gonna talk without thinking. I have emotions, right? If I'm talking with somebody, you ever talk to somebody that you're, you know, an adversarial sort of conversation and you're bawling your fists up, your shoulders are tight. Mainly, you're not breathing, you ever notice that? No confidence, no charisma in that conversation. Neurotic holding patterns. Neurotic holding pattern. I got neurotic holding patterns. So if you go back on this channel just a few months ago, I created you know, several videos on bioenergetics because I needed to have a catharsis myself. When you're relaxed, you emanate a heart frequency. There's more love. Love is relaxed. Do you know that there's something called, I think the Heart Math Institute, where they measure people's heart frequencies. They can measure a person's vibes. Somebody walks in the room and maybe they're pre depressed. They can, they can accurately determine that person's vibe by what's emanating from their heart. If somebody's relaxed and happy and having a good time and is feeling his divine wine, working through them every time, they can detect that too. Man, this dude is cool. So they could say, wow, that guy is moving with courage, heart. He's relaxed. He's in a state of love. It's love. Courage with heart is moving with love. I think bioenergetics fits into the, the heart space, the emotions, and free frequency. Relaxed vibe. Welcome back to another Ironside chat with me, old Uncle E. And today we're gonna do a press called Z. I'm gonna be sitting down in that power rack and pressing out of the pins. We're also gonna be chatting about confidence today. It's not what most people think. So if you're a man that wants to be more confident in the way that you communicate with more charisma, especially in front of the camera, this might be a good show for you to watch. Okay. I'm gonna begin with just a few warm up sets. Confidence. Part of the reason why confidence is not flourishing in your life may be because you have the wrong definition or idea of what confidence is. Confidence is with faith. The word confidence, con meaning with, fidence, which comes from the word fidelity, which means trust. Acting in confidence means acting in trust. Acting with courage is acting with heart. Acting with bravery is acting with your balls. Throw some tens on there and see what that feels like and then I'll decide. I think someone who's confident is someone who is actually very relaxed. Someone who has confidence, it almost seems like they're not worried about it at all. Whatever it is that they're doing, they have full faith in the divine. I'm not here to try to convince you what that higher power you should call. But if you believe that you're the sole arbiter and the sole controller and the sole willful being that gets things done in your life, then there's probably not very much confidence because what do you need to have faith in? You might have courage, it's a good thing, but it's not confidence. Let me bump up another 10 on each side. Let's see how that goes. All right. <clears throat> Ooh! Yeah, that was tough. <clears throat> so,
So confidence with faith, faith in God, knowing that it will get done, but I don't have to do it. How crazy is that? He just knows it'll get done. That's a powerful place to be. Confidence is, re is the relaxed place where action comes from. Courage is doing it. So that's confidence for you. One way to determine whether you are confident in a situation or not is how relaxed your breathing is. Confidence is a present thing. Being fully present in the moment, 100% here and now. I'm done here with this um, press for my chin. Now I gotta bring it up to my forehead. I gotta press for my forehead. So, you know, I think vocabulary is important. I think definitions of words are important. And if you look up that word charisma, charism is a part of it. Charism also comes from the word charity. Charism is a gift. Now, does that mean that you can't compel the gift? No, but you can't take credit for the gift. When somebody gives you a gift, you say, look what I did, dad. Wait, didn't your mom give you that? Yeah then you didn't do anything, it was given to you. When somebody says they wanna be more charismatic and have more charisma, the first thing they wanna know is what should I do? It's fake, maybe there's something to it there. If you act with confidence, maybe you'll get confidence, but if you have the wrong context for what it actually means, you're gonna make a mistake. Another way the word charisma can be looked at is chrism, meaning oil. This is where we get the word or the name Christ. So to be anointed also means to be gifted. How do you get that gift? That's the question.